Let's do Ask Annex. If you got a question for us, you head to the website, AnnexWealth.com. Look for the Ask tab. And again, as always, if we can help, just click that Get Started button. Sarah Kyle is a wealth manager at Annex Wealth Management, joining us for Ask Annex. Welcome. Hi, Danny. Matt Moore is the investment team manager. Welcome to you. Hi, Danny. First question on Ask Annex. I'd like to leave money to my grandchildren, but different amounts based on need. Can that be arranged? And can the amounts be kept secret? Absolutely. You definitely have the flexibility to leave different amounts of money to your grandchildren in your estate planning. So just when consulting with your estate planning attorney or financial advisor, you can just let them know your desire to keep the inherited amounts confidential and they can help explore the legal options and strategies to protect your wishes. Next on Ask Annex, I want to park some cash short term. Online HYSA, that's high yield savings account, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Rates vary from 4 to 4.8%. Naturally, the highest rate is from an institution I've never heard of. Is that a problem. So it depends. You know, one thing I would look at from that institution is, are they FDIC insured? Then you at least have the back end of, of those assets that are there that you know that if you stay underneath those limits, that that cash is going to be available to you. What I would also look at is the two main questions that I would have for you is how much is it going to be and for how long? Because there are other options as well, too. You think of like a money market account, you know, through the custodians that we use, you're getting almost 5% on that. And that's really, really short term money that you can access a day later. And that's a great option for you there. And you know that you've got the full back and then because of where that money market is. If it's going to be a little bit longer, you can actually look at treasuries as a potential option because you're getting five to five and a half percent within the short of two year time period on that. So if you know, hey, I want this money, but I'm not going to need it for a year, year and a half, you might be able to layer some treasuries in there and get an even higher yield and a better backing behind it as well. Yeah. And you also make sure you read that fine print. There's occasions where companies will limit how much you can take out. So they may say you can only take out 25% a month. And they also limit the ATM machines you can use to access that money. So just read the fine print and just be careful when you're using the online high yield savings account companies. Ask Annex got a question. You head to the website, look for the Ask tab. Next up, new job, but no insurance for 60 days. Can I use HSA money to pay for COBRA? Yes, absolutely. You can make the tax-free distributions from your HSA to pay medical premiums when you continue coverage through COBRA or you're collecting unemployment benefits. Next up, I've been waiting for this one. We are shocked. Our last child graduated from college and we have leftover 529 money. It seems like rolling it over to a Roth IRA is the best idea for our situation. This seems to be a very rare occurrence, but we'll take it. Yeah, absolutely. So beginning in 2024, the federal legislation known as the Secure Act 2.0 gives 529 plan beneficiaries the ability to transfer some of those 529 plan funds into their own Roth IRA without paying taxes or penalties. But of course, there's always rules that are associated with it. You can do a lifetime maximum of $35,000, but the annual Roth contribution limits will apply. So you just have to be aware of those. And that 529 plan needs to be open for at least 15 years. And you also can't roll over the last five years of contributions or earnings. So it's a great option, but there are some strings attached. And you could go back to school yourself, right? But I don't know who does that. But <laughs> right, did, what was the Rodney Dangerfield movie? School days. Back to back school. To school. <laughs> That's a school. fantastic one. That was filmed in Wisconsin as well. <laughs> yep, That's right. right in Madison. That's right. I think my husband was an extra. Next up on Ask Annex, I hear countless radio commercials about the weakness of the U.S. dollar and how it might be replaced as the standard currency. How much of this is true? So it really depends. And first, I would look at the commercial that you're seeing and what are they trying to sell? Because most of the time, that's what it is, right? And a lot of times, these are places that are going to try to get you to invest into gold or to silver or something like that. So I would look at the messaging of that commercial first. Secondly, we do get this question fairly often, and it depends on how you're looking at it. So currencies have time periods where they're strong and other times where where they're weak versus other baskets of currencies. And that's natural. There's gonna be an ebb and flow to all currencies. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's a long-term trend. It doesn't necessarily mean that the dollar is gonna go out of favor as well too. Those, there's natural time periods where the dollar is gonna do better or worse than other currencies. Long-term, yes, there's always a time where certain world powers have their currency be the currency of the entire world. Right now it's the US dollar. and past it was Rome and other types of empires in the past that had their currency be the big thing. So there is gonna be a time where the US dollar won't be. But right now, we're about 70% of world reserve currencies in trade. The next closest is 20%, which is the euro. But most of that trade and denomination in terms of the banking system is in Europe itself. It's not necessarily spreading as much out to the rest of the world. So I think we've got some time there, but something we certainly watch for. Matt Morrissey, Investment Team Manager. Thank you. Thank you. Sarah Kyle, Wealth Manager. Thank you. You're welcome.